it's Jojo here and it's back to school so very soon. But for some of us, we're really excited because guess what? We get to meet our friends, we get to have a new classroom, we get to have a new teacher. But for some of us, we might be feeling a little bit nervous. Now, whether you feel that in your tummy, in your chest, on your shoulders, your head, your kind of your fists, it's completely natural. But Jojo's got some top tips to help you make sure that we settle into that new school year, to that new class as smoothly as possible. You know when we're feeling really excited because we can't wait for something to happen and we're just excited? And there's also that feeling of feeling fearful when, oh, I don't want that to happen or where we just dread it. Well, guess what? Even though they are very different feelings, so we've got excited and we've got fearful, and even though they are completely different, guess what? They can give us the same body sensations as each other. So actually, when you think that you're feeling fearful and scared of going back to school in September, there might be a chance that you're excited too. With this whole back to school and feeling maybe a little bit nervous, shy, overwhelmed, worried, I need to remind you that it's only short term, okay? Because the more we get used to going back to school, morning routines, getting our homework done and everything like that, the easier it will become. So guess what? By you getting into the habit of doing it will make these feelings of worry kind of disappear in time. So here's some top tips. If you're starting at a new school, what I'd love for you to do before you actually have your first day is I would love for you to practice your journey. I'd love for you to practice your journey so then you know how you're getting to school, how long it might take for you to walk to school if you're older. My next top tip is I don't want you to bottle up your feelings, okay? It's really important that instead of you getting um, in spiky, fizzy moods, I want us to talk about our feelings. This is one of my favourite books. Her name is Virginia Ironside. And with this book, she explains how our worries can actually sit in this big bag. And sometimes it might be like a backpack and sometimes it might be like just a massive bag, a suitcase. But actually, instead of those worries keep adding to the weight of the bag, making the bag get bigger, actually, if you're to talk about them, will help keep your bag small. So talk about your worries and don't bottle them up. My next top tip is when you are feeling maybe look a bit worried or teary or nervous, I want you to remember that these are all natural feelings, okay? But you can do something to help yourself and you can do different breathing techniques. Maybe what you could do is imagine your most favourite place in the world, most favourite place, and you can close your eyes and go there. And don't forget that if you're feeling nervous and worried because, guess what, you're having to say goodbye to some family that you've spent the whole summer with, that's okay. But just don't forget that you'll be seeing them in a few hours and it's also very good to miss one another. And maybe what you could do is you could share something. So maybe you could go and collect a stone and then you look after the stone during the day at school and then together you look after the stone outside. And with that, you can share it. Or maybe draw a love heart secretly on your body with that parent, that carer. And maybe when you're doing it, you can get a hug. And then when you've got that hug, if you're going to school and you're feeling sad, which is okay, because we're gonna feel sad, we just look at it might need to press it and then we can imagine getting that hug. Don't worry, we're going to get through this together, but I just need you to carry on being you, being brave and being amazing. And guess what? I'll see you soon. Bye everybody.